Hello everyone, Sam is here from creativetradingsystem.com. Uh, just woke up, uh, kind of sick, uh, couldn't do anything earlier. I uh, just uh, heard this and then uh, I just opened the trade and start dropping fast and my SL um, is at break even now. Let me just remove this from here and uh, I see it, it was here. Now I moved it here, market is very chaotic right now moving very fast some big moves yesterday and so i will be careful see the euro usd i was expecting that is going to drop but it dropped without giving me any setup and now this is the first setup that i got so i took it i also took the usd cat long so i'm going to show you later on uh, let me just go uh, refresh a little bit and then eat something and i'll come back and then i'll update you but euro usd is now the first trade that i'm recording and it's going down I didn't want it to touch the, uh, anything last night because it was like first day, uh, my broker opened the first day and it was very, very chaotic and big moves without any reason. So uh, you wanna be staying away. So this is uh, right now going down and uh, um, I got in and uh, I might uh, go uh, and do some entries in the coming upcoming Asian session as well. Uh, because, you know, just the beginning of the year and then uh, after a few days, uh, holidays and people came and they're like kind of hungry and then market may move. But I really need my setup before I do anything. That's why it's a lot of things drop. The Indian pairs drop big time, but just like this without any setup. So for me, no trade. So this is the first one that I got in. And the second one is USD cat long. See what happens. USD is bouncing. USD getting strong. And that's why. All right, so I'll just go to the bathroom and then go back to the kitchen and eat something and come back, okay? All right. I'll be back. Hello, everyone. Uh, so I'm here again uh, with updates. So this is the one that I was talking about earlier, USD CAD. I took the same time as Euro USD. Uh, this is long, a Euro USD short. Uh, where is the Euro USD? Um, I just woke up now. I'm pretty good. I'm drinking my tea now, so I'm okay. <laughs> but uh, most of the, I mean, London session is slow just now a little bit, so it's okay. You know, my entry time is, you know, my maximum. I, you know, uh, it's like around 11, 11 30. So uh, I was right uh, at the edge. But I may um, make entries later on uh, in London session, I think. Uh, not London, sorry, uh, Asian session. Uh, but let's see. Let's see this, you know, the year just started, so things may move. I'm going to take uh, my uh, chances. I earlier uh, took one entry, by the way. I forgot to mention first. Uh, Euro Aussie, as I meant, uh, put it on the Telegram as well. I'll show you later. So, um, uh, but that uh, got, uh, I lost that entry at break even. Okay. So just like this one, you know, so it moves a little bit, then I come and sit in a break even. You not, don't want to take a chance. So uh, this is your USD and this is um, USD carried the opposite direction uh, to the long side. But why? Right. So this USD, I made this chart, US dollar index uh, on the 24th December, right? I mean, in the last week of December that this dropped big time here. And somewhere here, it's going to, you know, bounce and, and go up. While it's going up, the USD is going to get a strong end. These four pairs will go down and these three pairs will go up. Okay, that was the idea. And this idea so far is doing, uh, not this, uh, where is the USD? Come on. Here, you see that? So it came down a little bit last night. So that's the confusion that it tried to create, right? And get everybody to the wrong side. <laughs> but I knew that this thing is going to go up. So I was like, okay, go, buddy. You want to go down? Go down. I'm not with you. <laughs> when you go up, I'll be with you, right? So he, this thing started to go up. It started to get strong. And uh, Euro USD, uh, it started to go down. But it, it went down without the setup. So there was no entry and until now. And the USD CAD going to the upside, okay? And uh, because of this, I also made this chart, the USD like this, and then Euro like this. See, the Euro index supposed to go down, and Euro index is doing how now? Let me show you. Um, 
euro index is coming down nicely. You see that? It started already. So euro USD has a lot to uh, drop. And uh, obviously, when USD is getting weaker, the euro Aussie, my first entry got shot uh, last night, but uh, more to come because euro is going to drop, then euro Aussie will go down. Euro USD, euro yen probably, right? And uh, similar uh, things will happen. So, uh, yeah, I made this uh, a new chart that, okay, if not that, um, this is, uh, um, you know, like this level, I wrote down here that below this, is a downside, right? So it went up a little bit to the next level, which was his 07. This is a uh, 07 uh, 26, right? So it went down, uh, went up there, and then now coming down, right? So if it continue, then I'll have something in my hand. If not, I'm sitting on the, those two trades that I just took. Uh, I'm sitting on a break even, all right? So I'm gonna go now and see if I can find something else and get ready for um, uh, Asian session. All right, so I'll be back with updates. Hello, everyone. Sam is here again. Uh, after six hours almost, I opened these chairs around 11 a.m. in the morning on January 3rd, and it is 5.30 in the evening right now. And these, both of these trades are just not moving. Uh, well, they moved a little bit, but not as I was expecting. So big moves happened uh, just uh, today, early in the you know, Asian session and the London session. And then uh, it gets quiet now. So uh, let's see. I'm going to still hold these trades. This is USD CAD, maybe like 45, 50 pip positive. And Euro USD, I showed you earlier when I made the entry. So it came down, it was, went up, and then now going down a little bit. Uh, probably 10 pip, uh, you know, my SL is uh, 10 pip risk. So I'm going to hold on to it because it is based on this chart that I was expecting that US dollar index is going to bounce and it is bouncing very nicely. And if it is going to start bouncing, keep bouncing, then I will have a nice um, uh, uh, trade. See this? It is, you know, US dollar index is bouncing. If it goes up, it is already above 1247, which is a good sign that it's going up. And if it can go easily to 1426 or this low here, whatever it is. So if that goes, these four pairs will continue going down and these three pairs will continue to go to the upside. And I have short here and long here, so I'm good. And I'm going to hold on to it and let's see what happens, right? A uh, few more hours and see when the next day start, but I'll probably still hold and look for uh, short uh, GU, AU, or a long EUJ uh, also, okay? Yen pairs are too wild right now. Let's see if they sell down a little bit and then start giving me the proper setup. Uh, the setups were there, but what happened is that they were moving big and my setups were coming outside of my threshold value, right? My threshold is 60 pip, so they were like 90 pip or 100. I said, uh, I don't want, I'm not taking them. So that's how it is, right? All right, so um, I'm going to leave now and we'll come back with more updates. Hello, everyone. Sam is there again. Um, I'm, I came back now. I'm coming back after, uh, what, seven, eight hours, right? So I started this video uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, made a couple of entries, a USD care and Euro USD. And also I uh, posted, uh, actually I tweeted, uh, let's say on the telegram, I posted here. You see this one here? I said, um, EA making a short and then EU making short and EC making long. So EA, um, what happened that uh, my first entry got knocked out and then I got in again, second, but the second entry um, yeah, so on uh, my EA uh, and Aussie uh, and Pound was on the other computer with the commodities where gold and uh, uh, oil is. Right? So um, I had a couple of trades over there. Let me show you what, what happened to this um, Euro USD. Got knocked out. It dropped here, sitting on the break even, and boom, it's gone. So this one again, gone. Uh, SL hit with on a break even. Now USD CAD, uh, it went up 50, 55 pip. Then it came back down here very close to my SL. 
And now it is going back and making a long setup again. So it might go up and I'm going to hold on to it on the, you know, on the basis of the chart that I just showed you yesterday that, um, uh, I mean, last time that, you know, I'm expecting USD to get strong and it is getting strong. So uh, that will uh, send this USD cat to the upside and Euro USD and pound USD to, you know, all of these four pairs to the downside. So that's what I'm expecting. So tonight I'm going to be hoping that and the one that Euro Aussie and pound Aussie, not the Euro Aussie and pound Aussie, sorry, but um, Euro Aussie and gold. This uh, actually not gold. This is uh, the gold was there. This is the uh, US dollar, uh, US crude oil. Right, so this is uh, crude. I'm mixing up with the gold. The gold was early in, uh, earlier, but this is uh, no. This is actually. What? Well, why am I confused here? Okay, I transfer that. This is the EA trade from the other computer. 125 pip that I closed sell order just closed a little while ago. Uh, the second entry, the first one uh, got knocked out of the break even. On the third, there was a gold. See, this was a gold. I got confused. That was an oil chart with, from yesterday. But this is a gold trade today and beautiful entry here. And it is from 1838 to 1847. So that is also closed. And uh, I'm going to let the um, uh, USD CAD run for now. Okay. And see what happened. I'm, you know, probably like three pip uh, loss or something like that. Three pip risk, two or three pip uh, behind, right? Behind the, uh, my entry. Sitting there, Euro USD entry is gone, but it is making a new entry. So I will take it if it will happen. If my alarm beep, I'll take it. Okay, because again, uh, the US dollar index and the Euro index, see the Euro index is this. So I made the chart that is gonna come down and it is coming down very nicely, All right? So if Euro is gonna drop, then uh, let me show you that this is, um, this, by the way, this is the Aussie strength that took the, the Euro Aussie and Pound Aussie down. Uh, I missed the entry in Pound Aussie, but I took the Euro Aussie. Uh, here you can see this, what happened to this uh, US dollar index. It started to go up, put in back a little bit, and then it might go up again. Uh, Euro index, this is what happened. So it started dropping. That's why Euro Aussie went down as well. Euro is getting weaker, Aussie is getting strong. So you got the picture now, right? And the Euro USD also Coming down, it started to come down. Uh, let me show you where's the Euro USD current chart now. Uh, yeah, see this one, right? So it went up a little bit, but now it started to come down, but it's hesitating right now, right? So that's why it went down a little bit and then it went up from my entry, right? Yesterday it came down a lot, but right now it's just taking a little uh, retracement and a breather, and then probably in London session it's going to drop again. Okay, so it needs to drop a lot. So I'm going to get in the Euro USD again. But for now, I'm going to close this video. And then in the London session, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm really tired. Uh, the USD CAD is running and I'm sitting almost like on break even. So that's it. Fine. Thank you. 125 pip I got from the Euro Aussie and the gold trade it was a, a very good gold trade too. Excuse me. So uh, that was the day on the, uh, the January 3rd. Now, let's see what happened on January 4th. Okay, so uh, closing this video now. Uh, I mean, it's, it's been going on for like, what, 12 hours? Now? <laughs> All right, so, uh, and then I'll restart uh, a new video for January 4th. So bye for now and talk to you guys later.